So today, Tyco announced the launch of their A6 testnet, which is the final testnet before mainnet launch, and hopefully the final testnet before we actually get the Tyco token airdrop. And so in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through everything that you need to do to stay up to date with the Tyco airdrop and to complete all of the tasks to qualify for this token once they actually go live. I posted a poll on Twitter asking whether you guys would rather see a Tyco testnet guide or a drift tutorial sooner. And the majority asked for Tyco. So let's get right to it. Starting with a discussion of the airdrop because in their discord today, the Tyco bot is saying that there is no current determination of airdrop eligibility at this time. However, they're exploring opportunities to engage and reward Tyco community members. So what I take this to mean is that a snapshot has not yet occurred. And if you interact with this new testnet, then you can probably still qualify. So the first step is to actually add the new testnet to your wallet. If you have previously added the Tyco Holnir L2 testnet, that will no longer be relevant. So all of the interactions that you made with that testnet could still be incentivized and receive some points for an airdrop. But now we're actually using a new testnet and we have to add it to our wallets. So these are the Tyco docs here. And if you click on this link, you'll be able to just connect your wallet and add the new network. So hit approve and then it will prompt you to immediately switch to the new Tyco network. Now there's also the Holski testnet where we're gonna to need to get some testnet tokens from as well. So go ahead and add this one too. Okay, the next step, once we've added the networks and if you open up your wallet, you should be able to see both of them. Well, we need to get some testnet tokens on these new networks. And in the Tyco docs, if you go to receive tokens, you can click on the Holski testnet ether faucet here. And there's a couple of different links that you can use to get some testnet ETH. So just click on one of them and it will open up in a new tab. And this one is probably the best one because all you have to do is paste your wallet address and then you can mine as much testnet ETH as you need. So you just leave this running on your computer for a couple of minutes and you'll have enough testnet ETH to actually do this. So once you've mined at least 0.5 whole ETH, just hit stop mining and claim rewards and it will automatically send them to your wallet. So now that we've got some testnet ETH on the whole ski network, you're gonna to want to go to the Tyco bridge, go to the faucet tab here on the left, connect your wallet and then select a token to get from the faucet. So the only option currently is the horse token and then mint some of this. And when you click that, you have to confirm the transaction in your wallet. Now here, in order to actually see the balance of horse tokens in your wallet, you're going to need to add the token to the wallet. So here in the Tyco documents, there's actually a list of the contract addresses that you need. And this one right here is the contract address for the horse token. So if you copy that, open up your wallet and then click on tokens and import token, you can paste the contract address hit next, and then it will show you the balance of the token that you just minted. So then hit import. And now I can actually see those tokens here in my wallet. So we can go back to the bridge here. And now we want to send these tokens from the Holski testnet to the new Tyco testnet. So select the Katla testnet, and we're going to bridge both ETH and horse. So let's start by bridging a solid amount of the ETH that we just mined, hit bridge and confirm this transaction in the wallet. And once that transaction goes through, then you're gonna to want to also bridge the horse tokens. This final one on the list here, you can't actually get unless you've been a validator of the Tyco network, I believe. So we're just doing ETH and horse. So select horse, then just bridge the full amount that you minted. And this is a two-step transaction. We have to approve the spending of the tokens and then we have to bridge them. So you have to confirm two transactions in your wallet to do this. So yeah, that's perfect. And now if we open up our wallet, we can see that the horse and the ETH that we bridged is no longer on the whole ski network. And that's because it has been bridged to the new Tyco Catla layer two. Now, when you bridge tokens to the new Tyco testnet, it will claim automatically for you if you're patient. So you just have to wait. If you already had tokens in your wallet, you could claim them manually by hitting the button here. Otherwise you have to wait for the relayer to claim it for you automatically. And so just be patient and come back to this in a little while. And the tokens will then appear in your wallet on the new Tyco layer two. And it actually took a couple of hours before this could go through, just so you know. Expect to wait maybe three to four hours before you can actually come back and continue with the next step. But once you have successfully managed to bridge the ETH and the horse tokens to the new Tyco L2, you're going to want to add the horse token to your wallet so that you can see your balance. So here under Tyco Catla contracts, we can find the contract address for bridged horse token. 
It's the second to last one here. So just copy that. And then again, in MetaMask, hit import tokens, paste the contract address, hit next, and you'll be able to see the balance. So now that we've got the tokens in our wallet and we can see the balance, the next step is to go to the Tyco swaps application and make a couple of swaps and maybe add a deposit into a liquidity pool. So for starters with the swaps feature, it's basically a fork of Uniswap. It's very simple. You select which asset you're swapping from and which asset you want to swap to. So let's exchange some ETH for some wrapped ETH. We'll, we'll wrap it by just clicking on the button here and confirming a transaction. And it looks like that transaction successfully went through. You can also try to swap between some of the other tokens, although it looks like there might not be enough liquidity for some of these pairs. Since this is literally day one of the new testnet, we don't have full functionality yet. So it won't let me swap into the TTKO token right now. But what I can do is go to the pools here and click add new position. And I can select a pair to provide liquidity for. So since I have ETH, wrapped ETH and horse, I can do two out of those three tokens. So let's say we add liquidity for horse and ETH. Just select a fee tier and a price range. I'm just gonna do the infinite price range because it's testnet tokens and I don't care. And then scroll down and select how much you want to do of each token. So I'm just gonna do 25 horse and the equivalent amount in ETH. Then you have to approve a transaction to allow the spending of your horse tokens. And then there will be one final transaction to actually make the deposit into the liquidity pool. So we'll hit preview here and add liquidity. And now I can track the position in the pool tab here and add other ones as well. And so if you're doing this, I recommend trying to swap into as many different assets as you can at the time that you're actually doing it and then add liquidity to a bunch of different positions if you have different tokens in your wallet. Now, aside from that, there is a number of different Tyco ecosystem applications that you can explore. Since this is literally day one of the new testnet, most of them are not actually live on the new testnet yet. Even the .tyco domain names are currently not on this network. So we might just have to wait a little while before we can interact with more stuff in the ecosystem. But as we get a couple of days and weeks into this, you can come back to the Tyco ecosystem page and just check out some different applications. There's some NFT stuff you can do, some different DeFi stuff you can do. And so I recommend experimenting with as many of these as you can. Now, one final thing I found on Twitter is that these guys created a commemorative NFT for bridging to the new Catla testnet. And so if you want to mint one of these NFTs for free, you just go to this contract, hit on the contract button, hit write contract, then hit this button here that says connect to web three and connect your wallet. It's gonna ask you to switch to the whole ski network. Then go to number two here where it says mint and under payable amount, you can click zero and then you can select how many of these you want to mint. So let's say I'm gonna mint four. Then you click write and confirm a transaction in your wallet. And you'll still need to have a little bit of the testnet ETH on the whole ski network to confirm this transaction. So that was a success and I minted four of these NFTs and now we want to go back to the Tyco bridge and here at the top, we want to click on NFT. Now, if you hit scan for NFTs, it won't be able to find it. So you want to hit add manually and then we want to copy the contract address here for the NFT collection. Copy that, go back to the bridge paste that in, and then under token ID, you have to select one of the tokens that you minted. So I have 427 to 430 in my collection here. So if I go back to the bridge and I select 427, then I can hit continue, and then I can confirm this transaction and approve it. So this is one bonus thing that a lot of people probably won't do because it's super niche. And I just found it because I found these guys on Twitter that created this NFT contract. But by doing this, we get to bridge an NFT to the new layer two as well. So that could help set your wallet apart from people that don't do this. So yeah, those are all of the normal things that you can do right now. And if you are a developer, then you can do other things like deploy a contract. Right now, they don't have some of the prefab cut and paste contracts that you could use like third web. So when they deploy these, maybe I'll bring a follow on tutorial showing you how you can deploy a contract very, very easily without having to even download any special software. But for now, those are all the things that you need to do on the new Tyco testnet. And if there's any further updates, I'll make sure to keep you informed. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.